talk about that first half, but like both teams are doing really aggressive on defense. Well, yeah, we just just had to come out and play our game. We knew they were going to come out and play play their hardest against us. That's the rival game. So we just had to slow down a little bit and try to play our game. For all of you guys, Santa getting three at the buzzer of it. And the first half bringing you guys within two. How much of momentum so was that for you? Oh, that was a big one. We needed that one because we were, we was kind of missing it towards the end a little bit, so we had to go in. So that was a big one for us. Uh, EJ and early in the second half, you had a three point shot, and then you had a Duncan Duncan transition, and you had that fierce looking in, in your face when they call timeout. What was just going through your head during that one? Uh, it's time to turn up, you know. The crowd, our crowd was there, you know, it was loud, and I thought that was momentum change. How does it feel beating Manhattan at the gym, being that you guys only got to play one game against them this year? To me, it's a lot, you know, always playing as a game. It's always fun, you know. It's always trash talking. It's a lot of fun, so we got to be beat them. Ricky, to follow that up, you ain't no against Manhattan now in your career. <laughs> How satisfying is that for you? I made it go out. It's my last season to go out like that. You know against them, against a rival team. That's, that's pretty good accomplishment. Happy about myself. And for you and EJ, you were both on the 2016 team that won the first of three straight back titles, got on a, on a roll late in the season like this. You see a, a similar parallel this year after the losing streak and now five, five wins in a row? We've just been coming out every day in practice. Just keep going, just keep going harder, just keep, just keep pushing. We're going to be there. DJ, what's allowed you guys to turn it around and win the way you have? I think everyone's starting to buy in now. You know, it took us a minute to get a, like, used to each other because there's so many pieces, you know, but you now we're starting to click together. So we're only getting better too. About that, in the first half, you guys were, were struggling offensively, and you're able to hit a, a few shots there. Um, were you trying to say to yourself, "Hey, you know, we need a lift here"? Or you, was there anything you know conscious that you mm -hmm. kind of did there to, to kind of get your team going? I mean, my team always wants me to be aggressive and shoot the ball, so um, you know, I'm gonna shoot whenever I get a good look, and you know, they were finding me in the first half and they were finding me. Ricky, does it mean like you said eight and zero before? You know, you almost went here. This is the first place you decide to go. So is that extra significant? Is that do you think about that when you play Manhattan? Oh, yeah, like yeah, you have any nice play him again. <laughs> yeah. Every time well, I, these guys throw the load questions. <laughs> nah, every time I play against them, I just try and give them my all like every other game. I don't, I don't try and give it like a little push over, like I don't, I don't get into none of that. I just try and play my game. Ricky, it seemed like you were able to share the ball throughout the game, uh, different players contributing. Is that just the way the offense works? Yeah, I mean, just find an open guy, knock down the shot. That's what we're known for. Share the ball, knock down the shot. Anything else for the guys? Appreciate it.